honestly believe with what he's doing, the work that he's doing, he's charismatic, he makes us laugh, it's not, he's genuine. I feel like there's something in the cosmos and in our callings that there's just, just the time is now kind of thing. He's actually able to just help me heal. Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel for doing your reading. How are you? Um, first things first, uh, what you guys have just seen is an exciting move where our channel is growing. Um, this channel has grown so much that it requires a lot of, uh, how to say this, of direct guidance where I want to be able to uh, remove the channel from any kind of codependency uh, because in my practice in my work uh, in the divination process we should see the light of the situation and not really dig ourselves in a hole so ask yourself how many times have you been watching tarot ask yourself have you been dependent on knowing what they're, they're doing are they coming back all these things which I, I read those stuff I've read those stuff I'm part of that but as we are moving to a part where we need to be more uh, responsible for ourselves and responsible for me, responsible for people who watch this, this channel, I do not want to promote that um, kind of energy. And that's why this is about you. The reading is about you. And this is where it's going to go now. Um, I do create the divine time and soul to soul for people who have a deeper connection. Um, I want to be. I want to encourage people to be more careful of watching my readings. You know, and in particular, like my readings. I'm talking talk about other channel, um, because we can be. Um, we can. We can feel. Be. We can be so drawn um, to a connection, and it does not really help us. Um, and I might be reading only for. Uh, I call it the, the teeny weeny connections, which is very surface level. Um, so that might be just the connection I'm reading for. And sometimes it does go deep to a past life, so I create a divine timing. Those are for mature individuals who knows how deep is their connection. And sometimes it does connect there, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, also to soul to soul. So that's where, it, uh, where we're at right now. Also, I need to hide my hands, because it, if it, fo it focuses on the... Okay. Um, uh, also, um, we have a rewards uh, system now where if you get anything from the, uh, how to say this, from the website, you just have to create an account first. You click that, that, rib, that gift box because you get rewards after making a purchase, uh, points and stuff like that that you can use in the store. Um, so that's that. Make sure you sign up to our uh, email list also um, because if you do that, you're going to be part of the e-newsletter. It's an online magazine that we will be sending out pretty soon that will be promoting ab about you, yourself, about spirituality, metaphysical, all these things, promoting growth. Um, the channel is not, uh, you know, the channel has, has grown so much and it's really separating itself from where it started. And I like it. I like, I like where I'm bringing the channel and um, we're going to be uh, um, elevating ourselves um, because that's what, that's what we have to be doing right now is to continuously grow. All right. So let's begin here with the reading. So this is just about you. Um, there are other channels who, um, who have a lot of variety of... Uh, uh, knowledge I can share with you guys also okay. but in this channel I just wanted to be focused on a person's uh, growth so let's see here for the cancer okay. you always get this card for some reason um, you have the ten of wands uh, here the ten of wands is a 
I take responsible for everyone. I take care of everyone. I make sure that everybody's stuck in their bed nice and neatly. Um, showing care to your family. Uh, being, uh, you know, the one who always say yes. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, I'll do this. Um, laundry, you know, um, cleaning the house, the upkeep, um, making the money, you know, make putting the, putting the what do you call it? Uh, the bread on the table. This is the part where you say, you know, it's like it's too much. Um, it's a lot of things that you're hugging in right now. Um, the responsibility is overwhelming you, um, and you're you're at the point of finally understanding that you have overcommitted yourself. The Ten of Wands is a lot of passion that you put in the connection. So you said yes, 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 because you're passionate about it. The Ten of Wands, though, shows that you have reached the limit, just like anything else. Um, uh, we, uh, you know, any humans has a burnout. So this is you now, um, Concern. You're burned out. Um, and it's time for you to release and let go of the Ten of Wands. Uh, you, no matter what you do, um, you cannot be superwoman or superman or a superhero to the person. Um, if it's a family, you know, to your kid, um, you cannot be wearing all the hats, uh, you know, for this individual. Um, the Ten of Wands is, it can be to your friends also, your co-workers. Uh, this is the time where you say, it's like, I only have one hat, you know, and, and that's it. Ten of Wands. Let's see. The chariot which is you so now you're choosing yourself you're moving forward that's pretty healthy um, ten of wands also shows with the chariot understanding that you've done it all sometimes you would have this guilt feeling on your life where you would uh, basically tell yourself well I have to stick here because nobody else will um, then you're just uh, basically a person who because if you're taking so much responsibility uh, how to say that? Um, you're an enabler also. And uh, again, we're, you know, like everybody at some point in our life are an enabler because we care, we love, we nurture. And that's one of the concern traits is the caring, selfless, love, nature, which often is taken advantage. You are being taken advantage for the Ten of Wands. You do not know where to um, set up boundaries or limits in this connection. Now, the Knight of Wands here, I feel like with the Chart of Knight of Wands, you want to have some time for yourself. You want to have some time for your uh, fun side. Um, you haven't had this. Um, if, it's a, if it's a work, um, work has been stressing you and you need to a chance for you to... Because um, the Knight of Wands is like, I want, a cha I want a chance where I can be doing what makes me happy, things that I enjoy. So it can just be lounging around, okay, which we all have now. So it can also be like, I'm lounging too much, I need to get back to work, you know, stuff like that. But I have so much responsibility for other people that I cannot even work, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. So you're always considering other people and you're saying here, it's like, I need the time, I need the time for myself. Now with the Page of Swords here, it feels like you have been still, okay, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, Still uh, trying to understand, you know, what happened to the person that you were dating or you were connecting. Um, I feel like there's distance between the two of you and having the Page of Swords, you're trying to understand and learn, um, you know, like what happened. Um, I feel like there was a downfall in the connection because it's only you and you gave up. And the Page of Swords here, you're trying to understand, was it right that you gave up? Was it right that you have set up the limits already and you just said, it's like, I'm done, I'm quitting, I'm on my own. Yeah, so you have a lot of introspective here with the hangman. So you're thinking deeply um, about a big a big decision that you have just made. Now, the hangman here shows that um, you have compromised a lot, which is that's my card of compromise because it's a difficult position. So you were um, putting this person um, or these people in your life ahead of you. Um, this is the time where you understand that what else can I give to this person or through this connection because there's nothing you have to choose yourself right now with the chariot and the knight of wands I want to choose where I'm happy I want to choose where I'm loving myself um, good thing that the, consider, the, the chariot card comes here because you're moving forward with life and not allowing people to drag you not allowing the situation to drag you 
you're pushing forward and especially at this time you know this is something that you would want to see um, within that you're charging forward the hangman though um, you're still feeling uh, how to say this question you, you're questioning your a action you're questioning yourself as the page of swords is here should I reach out to them should I connect with them there's a lot of doubts still because as far as like you have moved with the chariot you're not that far mm -mm. you're still thinking about them you're going in circles now, excuse me, <clears throat> let me see if this connects with divine timing because those are for the in more in-depth um, connection. Let me see. There. So if, uh, if this connects with a uh, deeper reading, it would be the I'm not giving up on you. That's what I would suggest um, uh, for people to watch. I will put it in the comments. That's, uh, that's where we dive deeper to the contract of the connection. Um, this because this might be just a, a surface level that you're dealing with um, this is a teeny bopper connection um, and for people who knows that they have past life connection then go there to the divine timing um, I'm gonna continue this reading link down there in the description box before you go to any kind of extended make sure you create an account so that you can get rewards the account is free you just have to create it and then you get re rewards for it so thank you very much Cancer and for watching have a in the next in the extended we'll see the if what not maybe things that you are still thinking about that keeps going in circles have a wonderful day bye guys hi everyone welcome to another app tutorial for people who are not familiar i do have an astrology app that i am affiliated with so check in the description box and let's begin today we are going to be focusing on one of my favorite parts of this app which is the vedic rituals and remedies you can see there right now it's under the featured tools i click on that and then it will give me different informations for remedies and one thing that is very famous and familiar for this app is the remedies to improve relationship so if you click that it will give you helpful information about remedying, uh, giving remedy to your relationship. These are very practical approach. These are not complicated approach as far as like remedies. And other than that, it will also give you different kinds of rituals, which is for the eclipse. You can see it there. You have Saturn fasting. You have all these things rahu rituals which is for different placements of rahu in the chart so all these things that you can see right now on the screen where i'm scrolling right here all of these are available for remedies and what's good here is that it is one-stop shop you do not need to keep you know searching online finding different remedies because it's already in your phone ain't that amazing so what are you waiting for Click that link below for my affiliate link for the app. I'll see you again.